Have you ever wondered how to ballistically tie-dye a shirt? Well, good. You're watching the right video because today we'll be using this to tie-dye a t-shirt. So, in the last video, we made this shirt in all of its holy glory. If you didn't get a chance to see it, I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure to go check it out so you can see where this shirt came from. But there was only one problem. Is uh, apparently a plain white shirt, though loaded with holes, is boring. No one wanted to hang out with me. No one wanted to lift with me. My wife wouldn't even kiss me because this shirt apparently was just so much of a bore. So I had to come up with a way to fix that. And I think we've got it right here. Just stop bugs. There's this one gigantic mosquito that's been chasing me around and it's stopping me from filming. But I mean, they're crazy, right? Like you still hang out with me if I was wearing a shirt like this. Comment down below if you'd hang out with a guy wearing a ratty shirt like this. I mean, an awesome shirt like this. In any case, if this is in fact too boring for you and you want to know how to chaotically color a t-shirt, then hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so this is super exciting. What we have here is we've got a plain white t-shirt with eight water balloons filled with eight different colors of tie-dye. And we've got eight different rounds to open them up with. Oh, <laughs> don't be hasty. We're not using this quite yet. We're going to start smaller and build our way up to this. I'm beginning to wonder if the more times I shuck this, the cooler I get. So the first round we're gonna use is really a round by shape only. Before we move into some of the artillery, we've got here a little pea shooter made by Nerf. But it's not just any pea shooter, rather it's not just any like Nerf dart. Typical Nerf darts look something like this, but today we've got something even better for you. We've got a tactical Nerf dart, baby. We're gonna use this first and see if we can pop one of the balloons with a needle nose Nerf dart. Lock and load, baby. Okay, I'm gonna aim for the, the, the middle one first, I think. Right below the neckline. I missed. That was a terrible shot. Uh, maybe I gotta be closer. I don't want the, the dye to spray all over me. Here we go. I missed again. How many shots will it take? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this segment of the video is called How many shots with a Nerf dart will it take for us to pop a balloon? Oh my gosh. I'm, it's shooting like high and left and slowly dulling this Nerf dart. Okay, here we go again. Oh, so close. I really thought this would be uh, faster. It didn't work. It just bounced right off. None of these are working. <laughs> Maybe I was a bit too close, but something had to be done because that Nerf dart was just not cooperating in the least. By the way, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, 115 grain, nine millimeter, full metal jacket. Can only move up from here. This time we're gonna use a Hornady Critical Defense hollow point, nine millimeter. This is 115 grain as well. Same weight of the bullet, but this one's hollow point. We'll see if that makes a difference. And you saw how that last, that last one kind of just exploded all over me. So we had to scoot back a little bit. I hope this is far enough to be out of the blast zone. We're going for that middle one. <laughs> this guy's so blue, baby! Alright, this is gonna be our last 9 mil round of the day. This is from Freedom Munitions. It's a 124 grain full metal jacket. So, not a hollow point like the last one, but it's heavier than the previous two. Gonna see if this makes a bigger boom of color. Alright, here we go! Oh, that was so red! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was so red! <laughs> oh my gosh, this whole top row, these are all 9 mil, and they're doing lovely. Look at this color pattern. The, the thing with this is, you can't see the color through the balloon. So I just kind of put them up however, and it's nice to got it kind of like an orange, blue, kind of pink color, so it's 
It's, it, I'll be interested to see what the rest of the color looks like. All right, so I think we're gonna go for the bottom two next because the next two rounds are gonna be in the same caliber. So we're just gonna load them up in the same magazine. We've got some 5.56, five, two different kinds that we're gonna be shooting at the bottom two. So the first one that we're gonna shoot is just gonna be like your standard full metal jacket, 55 grain, 5.56. Five, and the next one we're gonna do is a green tip, 62 grain, uh, 556 so a bit heavier so i'm gonna i'm gonna load them both up and we're gonna shoot them both after the other so i'm putting the green one in i'll show you i'm putting the green one in here first so it will be last and putting in the regular one last and it's going to be the first one that we shoot aiming for the bottom two because i kind of want to save the middle three for some even better round all right so we're using this you've seen it before we're loading up these two We're gonna shoot for the bottom left and then the bottom right. Oh, that yellow, bro! Okay, okay, bottom right. Oh, <laughs> look at that shirt! Oh, that yellow, bro! Okay. <laughs> All right, so the bottom two are five, five, six. I don't know. I feel like it, the explosion was kind of similar to the top ones. There seems to be a better spread of these ones, but it almost looked like, and we'll have to watch it back, it looked like this kind of shot out more this way or out the back. So, okay, on to the last ones. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. The last three rounds are 12 gauge shotgun shells. 12 gauge. Wow, screaming and jumping. Bro, I'm training for a half marathon right now, and I'm out of breath from jumping up and down. That doesn't say very much, does it? Anyways, so our last three rounds that we're going to be using are 12 gauge, but they're all different. I've got them loaded up on my little side saddle here. I hope you can see that. Um, we've got a, a one ounce slug that, that we're going to use, the one ounce slug. We've got uh, Winchester uh, double watt buckshot shoots nine like base it's like shooting nine nine millimeter pellets bullets chunks of lead ballistic balls brother at whatever you're shooting at and then we're gonna do uh some winchester eight shot bird shot so the order that this is gonna go is we're gonna have our bird shot last because i think that's gonna make the biggest boom and so we want to see save that one for last um our second to last one will be the buck shot that one with the, the more pellet spread i think might be good and th the reason we're saving the spreading ones for the end is because i don't want to accidentally hit one of them um so we'll do that and then the the last one we're gonna or the first one we're gonna do is uh the one ounce slug because smallest spread because it's just one projectile and uh it's not gonna touch another balloon hopefully so first we're gonna do one ounce slug, then buckshot, then birdshot, and that'll finish off our tactical tie-dye t-shirt. We're gonna shoot the middle one first with the one ounce slug, so that way there's less of a chance that the other two balloons will get hit from the spread of the other shot. So, shooting the middle with the one ounce slug. Safety's off, backing up just a tad. All right, here we go. I think I'm in shot right here. Let's do this. We're shooting the middle with the one ounce slug. That's embarrassing. I completely missed. And I'm just going to load a couple more one ounce slugs um, <laughs> in case I miss again. All right, one ounce slug, try two. I missed again. Go oh, baby, third time's the charm. That's gnarly. That's so gnarly. Let's go, baby. <laughs> that blew an enormous chunk. Uh, hello there, sir. I can see you through this. Oh, gee, I better wipe off that lens. Hey, all right, it's starting to rain, so we just got to do this quick. So we're going to do our buckshot first, followed by our bird shot. We're going to go left, then right. Left buckshot, right birdshot, baby. I hope I don't miss this time. I hope I don't miss. Oh my gosh! Oh my 
my god! <laughs> All right, let's go again. This is the final shot. Bird shot on the right one. Let's go. Took it completely out, bro. Let's go take a look at it, shall we? It knocked it. Look at these cinder blocks. They're destroyed. They're covered. Look how plastered this is. It knocked it completely over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the tactical tie-dye t-shirt. I, uh, I wonder how well the back got. This looks really good. Look at this, the hole that one ounce slug left in the board there and the shirt and the peppering there, all of that stuff. Wow, uh, I'm excited to wear this. I'm definitely gonna wash this. I'll let it sit. It's gotta sit for like eight to 12 hours, I think is what it says, and then I'm gonna wash it and dry it, and I'll wear it in the next video, so make sure you hang around for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you being here for my how-to tie-dye a t-shirt tactically. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me tactically tie-dye this t-shirt. And if you did have a good time, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more stuff like this. And leave a comment if there's any uh, any other things you'd like to see me tactically tie-dye. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Make the world a better place, bro. And as always, stay awesome, dude!